Now, it's kind of laughable when you get to it. Because about the only thing that's on it is is an, an, a Nintendo emulator, <laughs> right? So um, it, it's um, Alt Store is what it's called. You go to the website, you download a program for Alt Store. Basically, it's a server on your computer, Mac or PC, and then you connect it to your phone, download the store, and then when you get in there, you get a Nintendo emulator. I'm sure this will last a long time, guys. Uh, but it's Wait, so the way that works though is it's using like the developer signing process. Yeah, yeah. So until they redo how all developers can develop, so, it, so I could see this lasting quite some time. So the server, the server, like. This app is on here, and you need to check in with your computer once every seven days. To because basically the app will expire, right? Yes. So, um, and it's this is by the way, this is a very nice uh, Game Boy emu- or I'm sorry, Nintendo emulator. Um, pretty interesting model when you get into it too, because uh, I'll open up the App Store and oh, unable to verify app. I've already see there. There you go. Internet connection is required to verify the. Trusted developer, do 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 do. So there's your first problem. That's probably the first thing that I tried out, and it's expired already. So I need to connect this to my computer in order to um, um, check it out again. But the only thing you can download as of the last I checked, that like late last last week, um, was this uh, Delta Light video game um, thing. There is a Clips app that's going to be released very soon. It seems like it's just a single developer for the most part, right? And the, the Clips app just lets you view your clipboard, right? Just lets you view your clipboard. I mean, I feel like you can get that in the App Store. Am I not mistaken on that? Don't know. Is that weird? Um, Wasn't there like a text extender utility or maybe that did clip a bunch? Like you could do multiple clipboards so, or you could... I can't remember what it was. So they also have a Patreon. And if you sign up for the Patreon... Um, it will help you. They'll, they'll give you access to betas. Like there's a beta of their their uh, emulator that'll let you play DS games. So like there's some interesting options there. Um, so it seems like a long way around to get an emulator on your phone. <laughs> I mean, I've seen I've seen shorter workarounds to this where mm-hmm. you could get it. You could sign up for the ninety nine dollar developer one, and then I think you, you can do whole year signings on there Mm -hmm. and then because you can write your own you they'd give you the the code you could compile it on your own but that's like i need to be able to do that and and code and compile and and understand that process but they just give you like the 